Okay, good morning, everyone. Um, just wanted to share something that I kind of stumbled across, um, partially stumbled across, partially uh, heard in another video last week. Um, so this is going to be about uh, using acrylics for panel lining. And uh, I have been doing this for a couple of years, but I missed one kind of thing that makes it a little bit easier. And uh, that was in Boomer's last video on that uh, antique car. So I've uh, been talking to a bunch of guys about buying the uh, the enamel um, panel liner. And then, of course, you've got to use the, uh, the um, I don't even know what it's called, actually, some kind of chemical to remove the mess. Um, and that doesn't really appeal to me um, just because I don't like the dull coat too often. And so if I, I'm assuming that if I did use the remover, I would remove some of my um, acrylic paint. Um, but the way I work, like I've been working on this thing for a month, maybe six weeks now. So the acrylic paint on this guy right here is pretty set. And so I can put water on this thing and not upset the uh, acrylics at all. Um, but I, I think if I put uh, some kind of a solvent on it, they'd probably ruin it. Um, anyway, so I really wanted to go down the acrylics path. And uh, what I found is uh, I just use uh, my cheapy cheap here. So this is a folk art. I can either use uh, the black or the dark brown. Um, I think it's Bird Dumper actually from Folk Art, um, just to get the color you want. And um, yeah, and so this 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 side of the uh, of 4642 has been done. Um, I hope to finish this up today. I've got to do the uh, diesel tank. Um, I've already had one go at it and I didn't like it, so I erased it. Um, but I'll do another go with the airbrush maybe today. And that will finish this guy up. Um, this is the Spirit of Lucy. Uh, in case anybody's wondering, there's some photographs that have gone around with the happy faces on the side. Somebody thought it would be a pretty good prank to uh, to um, basically make fun of a dirty engine. Anyway, I, I think it's pretty good, kind of classic. Um, so I just want to focus on the uh, the center part of the long hood here and uh, just show you what the panel lining with acrylics has turned out like. So I did, I did do some painting. Um, like brush painting up here where it's thicker. And I also used um, some powders, just uh, some, I scrape off the uh, um, the end of a, a pastel and turn it into powder and use that. So that's a bit of mixture up here, but the vertical lines running up all the doors and stuff is all done with acrylic washes. Well, acrylic um, panel lining, basically in a wash method. Um, and I'll show you how I do that. Um, but yeah, so this is how it turns out. This is the black um, acrylic paint. Um, you can also use brown and black or just brown. Um, you can use any color you wish actually, but uh, this one is mostly black because for some reason this side of the engine just got really dirty and black sooty kind of like uh, diesel dust. The other side's not so bad. So I guess I'll finish up with this one here explaining what I, this is what I've done. And then down here I've got his brother 4644. I still have to do the burn mark, but I have not done the panel lining here. And so what I'll do is I'll show you, I use a very, very tiny amount of paint. I have uh, an Atlas uh, 010 brush. It's actually a bit, this is my older Atlas brush. I've got a new one too, but for this purpose, it doesn't matter. And I'll just show you, like I basically get a tiny little black paint on the end of the brush, lots of water. And I just use it on a mixing piece of plastic. I don't, you don't need much paint for this at all. Like, honestly, it's just a snifter and uh, lots of water. And that's my, basically, that's my panel wash. And the only other trick that I learned from Boomer last week was to actually wet the long hood. And so it just helps it capillary down the lines. And this, this thing has not been dull coated yet. I've done a fade on the red and I've done a fade on the blue. So there is some, there's nothing on the white, but there is some paint, very, very little paint on the red and very little paint on the blue. Anyway, so I'm gonna dip my brush in. Now this guy has a little bit of black, very fine solution on here. So if I can stop my shaking. Uh, you saw that go down pretty quickly. That's a slower one. Okay, there we go, we got a mess. Cool, I just wanna show you how to clean that up. That one's gone beautifully. 
Oh yeah, and you have to do it below the hinges too because the capillary action stops. And I also get the uh, the uh, the latches as well. And so when you do this, you make a bit of a mess, but you can come along with a Q-tip and just clean it right up. And actually that one's capillaried nicely. I don't even know if I'm gonna to touch that one, but I don't wanna cover up the latch either. So I go in and just do that. And so that just highlights the latches and the long hood. And that's, that's basically all it is. Um, lots of water. And then you can actually come along too and, and dab up with the, with the Q-tip. And then if you want, you can, you can do this with the paintbrush. And my family just got home from church. Lovely. All right. Anyway, dry brush will suck it up too. So that's my method. Um, I think I'm going to stick with that. I'm not going to go and buy the enamel one. So that's how I highlight. Um, have a good day, guys. Like and subscribe if you wish.